Hi everyone, I hope you're doing well. Our video blog this week is about the month of May. It is Asian Heritage Month. Over the past two centuries, immigrants have journeyed to Canada from East Asia, South Asia, Western, Central, and Southeast Asia, bringing our society a rich cultural heritage representing many languages, ethnicity, and religious traditions. The people of this diverse, vibrant, and growing community have contributed to every aspect of life here in Ottawa and across the country, from arts to science to sports, business, and government. We're meeting today with Ottawa Public Library to find more about the programming that's happening right here in our city that's available to you throughout this month. Hi, my name is Tristan vilani Bohor. I'm a librarian with the Ottawa Public Library, and I work for the Program Development uh, Department. What we do is we create programs for the organization. Good morning, and, and thank you so much for taking the time this morning, Tristan. Thank you for having me. Let's start with the, the, the real impactful of the period. How is the team at Ottawa Public Library doing, and what, what, could, what could you share with us in terms of the last year at Ottawa Public Library? There's been a lot of pivoting. Um, there's been a lot of changes both staffing and organizational. Uh, so, you know, we're doing what we can to make sure that we're providing the best that we can for our customers um, and still offering programs um, in the mix. And we typically did in branch, in-person programming, but now we're doing Zoom programming. Um, so it's a whole new world for us, but we're doing what we can to really get to our community. Yeah, so for Asian Heritage Month, we have the a whole variety of things planned um, from children programming, teens and adult and even family programming. So when I was given this project as lead, it, I really wanted to tackle um, all our audiences uh, and have a, an open conversation about the rich culture that Asian uh, heritage has contributed to our country, but our city as well. Um, I didn't know a ton about it. I just knew certain aspects of the Asian culture that I, I love. Um, a lot of the art, a lot of the artistry, uh, the clothing, colors, and obviously the food, uh, which is one that a lot of people think of, but there's also dance, there's film, there's all sorts of aspects. Um, so I tried as best as I could to all reflect that via Zoom and online programming. Um, so we have stuff. We're mid months. We're mid months. So I imagine there's been a number of initiatives already. Share with us what what, uh, what participation's been like and and what the feedback's been like. It's been good. So we have children's programming that uh, the themes and the books are all Asian uh, themed or written by an Asian author. Um, and we have some teachers toolkits. So if you go on our website. Um, it's all about Asian Heritage Month and, the, and all sorts of um, Asian themed crafts and just ways to have a conversation about uh, the Asian cultures. Um, so that's been going really well. We have yet to start it, our team programming, but that's coming next week. So we did something fun, um, knowing that people love Instagram. I love Instagram. I'm a virtual <laughs> person. It is, so. a, it is a positive social media. Absolutely. We're glad it to is. use it. So on Monday, May 17th at 8 p.m., we have an author talk um, with Jen Suk Fun Lee. Uh, so that's happening at 8 p.m. It's a partnership with Ottawa International Writers Fest. Um, and she'll be discussing her, her new novel. And then on uh, May 20th at 7 p.m., we have a cooking demonstration and instruction uh, with the traditional Japanese cooking. So that'll be great. People can register and they'll actually get the recipe so they can either follow along as, as she's demonstrating or do it afterwards. So your dinner's covered on May 20th. Absolutely. Thank you so much for sharing with us what Ottawa Public Library has to offer during uh, Heritage, uh, Asian Heritage Month here in our capital city. Uh, thank you for your time this morning. Thank you so much. I've come across a number of interesting resources that are available this month on the Canada website. Here are some of the links, as well as CBC Gem, who has a number of important cultural and uh, featured programming for this month. Take a look.
Finally, uh, I am dismayed by some of the behaviors we've seen relating to racism uh, throughout this pandemic, specifically as it relates to uh, the Asian community. I, I thought we were further along as a city. I thought we were further along as a community. Let's learn to be allies. Let's learn to show solidarity. Let's not stay quiet. And again, let's continue to inform, educate, and not stay silent. Again, thank you for watching my video blog. Stay tuned next week.